join me while I do some shopping. These new videos are going to be for bakers, food developers, food photographers, anyone who loves the seasons and decorating for home. I'll just pause a second. Look at this. £10. But look, there's actually no glass in it at all. Yeah. So I'm going to show you lots of lovely textiles and baking equipment and ornaments, uh, any good deals, anything that could be useful to bakers, to food developers, to food stylists, to food photographers, home designers, anytime you want a bargain for anything you're buying. The shop is B&M. The smell from these ones doesn't last that long, they look cute. Much better is the gingerbread tea lights. They had lots of lovely candles and ornaments as well as seasonal fall or autumn ornaments. These were lovely. I already have a matte finish apple that was from Primark last year. The acorn there was a good price too. They had lots of diffusers, some seasonal ones and the popular artichoke but I want to draw your attention to the reefs now these look a lot more realistic apart from the oranges when you get a bit closer but at a distance the um, foliage looks really good for the price if you compare that to even Primark and the bigger stores that are 30 40 pounds some more lovely diffusers and ornaments and even some Christmas bits in now too yes I said the C word little hack coming up next if you don't have a cake stand or you want to use a different colour or pattern buy an inexpensive candlestick holder and place any plate you like on top something like this one you could easily spray paint to a neutral colour here we have some lovely big storage drawers these were quite big and not bad price as you know we need to store all our things somewhere there was lots of oil burners and tea light holders and little ornaments in the sale section too. I had intended on buying another one of these in a smaller size. I used them for my process shots, but they were looking even more grey. So I guess I'll need to keep looking for a replacement. I usually love to look at the tea towels, but nothing really grabbed me this time. They did however have a lot of kitchen storage solutions which I was in the market for. Here is a tiered spice rack specifically for a drawer. If only I had enough drawers. Enough working drawers. This one here is for organising your cupboards. I'm looking for a new spice rack and this is a simple white one at £5. It also had the same finish for cupboard organiser and this here for holding your cups up, hanging under a shelf. Talking of cups, or I should say mugs. Not cups, mugs. Here's a selection in B&M just now. Look at this next one. Sweater weather with a nice neutral aesthetic. They also had plenty of storage jars and containers, any size or shape that you might be looking for. Here is another spice rack, a black and bamboo one. Lots of crockery if you're looking for anything in particular or any particular shades or colours. Lots and lots of lovely wooden chopping boards. And look at this, acorn dictin! I have these in blue and in beige colour and they are from Primark. They're really good for jam or for your baking powder or spices in your photos or in your videos. This was a great deal, wooden turntable for £4. You could do your cake decorating on that or use as a Lazy Susan. Some cake cases, cupcake cases, and here there were some nice brass coloured autumn cookie cutters. They had a good range of oven trays and baking dishes. This extra wide disposable three pack of baking trays, 41 centimetres wide, for £3 was reduced to 150 I need to check the width of my oven. Some other pizza ones are quite good. I have the square one that's down below that I'll show you in a second. 
Oh, pumpkin. Some more baking trays. This one here, I've had that for such a long time, I'm going to get another one. Now some baking equipment. Cake liners, cake boxes, spatulas, piping bags and more. Oh, I already have quite a lot of pumpkins so I resisted and I did not buy any of these pumpkins. The beige and cream one was very nice. And the woolen one. This one here instead is an acorn and is a candle holder. With a candle. Some more wreaths. I'm just going to speed it up the next bit. There is a lot of Halloween things in if that's your thing or if you do a lot of Halloween baking. Certainly lots of nice things there that you could buy. Next we are in TK Maxx. This I believe is the same as TJ Maxx in America. And Home Sense is another one that's very similar to, but we don't have any up here in Scotland. And this here was Halloween aprons, and here's some more Halloween ornaments. This was a really nice candle that had a really nice smell, and the glass container was really sturdy, $7.99, not bad. I had to pull out this rattan pumpkin to let you see the size of it and up here some spice pumpkin candle nice container $14.99 the lighting was really bad in TK Maxx even adjusting my settings this here you can't see the lovely colour of it but similar to what I bought my friend before it is um, filled with scented potpourri Here's another one here, the pumpkin one, it was a nicer shade than it looks and these are $7.99 and look at this cute little birdie, $3.99 Ah, baking cups, these are large cups, more on them later This was a lovely Martha Stewart candle I have seen that a lot of these are coming into TK Maxx now, they smelled amazing $9.99 is not bad, but you would want one with a better lid. Oh, and look at this cute little doggy with his pumpkin hat. If you're into Halloween or gothic Halloween style ornaments, they had plenty of them in TK Maxx. Lots of intricate designs. Something that did take my fancy, you'll see in a second. Not that one, nope, but this one. That's nice. Now that would be nice if you could make a cake to look like that. It was a, a wooden, light wooden ornament. I usually pick up some stationery or notebooks or diaries from TK Maxx, but they don't have much in on the sale this time. Some more pumpkins. But I'm resisting. Maybe not. Lots of reed diffusers and pumpkin spice aromas. This was nice. And that was $6.99. If you prefer neutral shades, this would suit you down to the ground and suitable for any time of the year. Some more pumpkins, potpourri filled, and another Martha Stewart candle, a larger one this time. Some Baking sets are coming up now. This one here, a Halloween themed one. Rolling pin, cutter, spoon. That was $6.99. A skull covered mixing bowl. The mixing bowl was quite nice. That was $14.99. This next set is quite good if you're looking for a nicer looking cooling rack. It's a smaller one. That was $9.99 with the cutters as well. Another candlestick holder to make a cake stand. Oh, we're now into the baking trays and the reduced section, I believe. A Swiss roll tin, jelly roll tin. Some other nice deep cake tins. Some good brands there. Some linen, some um, oven gloves in the reduced and some nice dishware. Some nice aprons too. Tell me in the comments, do you wear an apron? Do you wear a waist one instead? I want to know. That's a nice pattern. Oh, tea towels. Tea towels are lovely in TK Maxx. I don't even use them for my dishes most of the time. 
unless they end up getting stained. They're just so, so nice, so pretty in here. These ones in particular. These are actually really big as well. The lovely three packs. Oh, Mason Cash Jug. Mixing Jug, 9.99. Oh, and more spice racks. Nice wooden one. Oh, I had to show you these for when you're doing the cleaning up. But first, coffee. I know, it's bad. I'm out of habit of doing voices. Some more big cake tins. That one's very deep. That would take a long time to cook. Maybe a Christmas cake would be better than that one. Tala, that's a good brand for your bunt tins. Here as well is the mini bunt tin. That's really good. It actually bakes the outside better than silicon mini cases. Some PME brand as well. Not bad. $7.99. They also had these large solid baking trays. Cookie sheet. This was a two pack. Uh, and then they had the smaller one at $6.99. I'm not sure in the sizing if it will fit my oven. Here you could do donuts. Donuts, not donuts. Some more tala baking trays. And a star baking tray for $9.99. And a tala madeleine pan and glass pyrex. This here was a really big tray with sections on it. They didn't have an awful lot of casserole dishes in this time. This is some things in the reduced section. Some more tooling racks and down at the bottom here we have the Joseph Joseph um, brand rolling pin that you fill up to weight it down. They also have some more of their usual piping bags, um, different nozzles, spatulas. These are quite nice little jars, slightly bigger than spice jars. Um, I've came now to the lovely selection of wooden chopping boards. Now that would, would be really nice in some photos. Nice styling tool. They would look great in some food photos or videos. Here are some of the teapots and coffee pots that they had. And some tableware, some um, tablecloths. Some wipeable ones, some fabric, some linen. Good investment, but if you're anything like me, you stain the things. Some autumn glassware too. And again, a lot of the shelves were a bit in the bare side that they didn't have as many plates and bowls that jumped out at me basically. Autumn and Halloween decorations seem to be the star of the show at TK Maxx right now. I love jugs, but I have enough jugs. Lots of nearly bare shelves, so I think it's time to go home and let you see what I bought today. These lovely salt and pepper shakers, they were from TK Maxx. They were 3 dollars and my old ones needed replacing. They were going a little bit rusty. And here we have a lovely wooden topped canister and needing new containers for ingredients and this one had the most airtight lid so I'm going to try this one out and maybe get the bigger ones next time. Got this for better storage or organisation in my cupboards, I've never got enough space. Next up the rack for holding all the cups and mugs inside the cupboard. This one is actually going to fit nicely on the shelf inside, which means the cupboard door will still shut. That was £2.50. Next up is my very first proving basket. This is a banneton for proving your round loaves of bread in. And it was from Sainsbury's and it was £11. Just let you see the inside there. You can't even get cheaper off eBay, so I went for it. Pumpkin Caramel Latte Candle Candle in a tin in a lovely nice neutral coloured tin and that is from Primark and it was £2.50 and it does smell lovely This lovely dark grey apron was from Home Bargains, it's £3.99 Tell me in the comments again, do you like an apron? Next up I couldn't resist these beautiful tea towels 
three pack of tea towels in this beautiful pattern. I couldn't decide between the two of them. These were in Tiki Max, if I didn't mention. Um, couldn't decide between the patterns. They come with two of the same in each and the third one without a pattern in the middle. So I decided to get both of them and I am going to gift the duplicates to my friend, Mrs. D, you know who you are? They are very big, so they're ideal for food photography. Using on your stage scenes, use them like you would with the napkins or use it as a table runner. They're very nice. Apple and cinnamon wax melts. These were from Home Bargains, 79 pence. I'm gonna give them a try. I always like to get the multi-pack of the Home Bargains gingerbread tea lights and also the pillar candle as well. These are both good and the white version from B&M at £1.50 Up next is that acorn cake tin You could use them for mini cakes, some mini breads, moulds, whatever you like really and for £2.50 they weren't too shabby This ceramic tree shaped reed diffuser could be for any time of the year really and was only five pounds in an apple and cedarwood fragrance. Another time I visited the range and they had a great selection of autumn bits and pieces. Here the maple leaves in wood with jute string. You could use those with napkins. Also these beautiful tiny maple leaf on ribbon. You could easily cut these off and use these as cute little decorations. Then they had some lovely cookie cutters too. A very long roll of hessian fabric, good price of 3 99 You can do lots of crafts with this. I have bought in the past from eBay small pieces for not much less than that. Great for autumn tablescapes too. This pumpkin shape frame was a bargain for £1.49. It's a nice decoration as it is, but it is actually for making pumpkin shaped wreaths. Next up, we're back in B&M and we have the lovely cream or neutral ombre effect ceramic oil burner or tea light holder for £4. That was quite nice. You could use the top part for other things too. Also from B&M is this lovely acorn decoration or little jar with yet another candle inside. I resisted and did not buy any pumpkins. Moving on down the road to TK Maxx and we found in the reduced section, the clearance section, this lovely neutral napkin in these nice autumn shades. Pumpkin spice, reed diffuser, look at this. Is this not beautiful? I also could not resist my one and only pumpkin buy. These are gorgeous. Look at the size of them and in a beautiful jar as well. And they are all potpourri style with a pumpkin aroma too. Look at the size of them. Tiny! These would be beautiful for decorations. Love this too and you can also put some more of the pumpkins in there if you like. It was a large bottle with the liquid for £6.99. Use these as props in your food photos or on your tablescapes for the autumn. Cute little mug for autumn, warm and cosy. It's not too small, it's quite a big, good size cup. This one I got last year, can't remember where it was from. Some baking bits now, some speciality, whole grain flour, rye or svelte, both from Sainsbury's with reductions if you have a nectar card. Details are on the screen now. Again to Tiki Max and those cupcake cups. As you can see the size in comparison to muffin cases, not cupcake cases, muffin cases and these are the larger 8 ounce ones I got last year from TK Maxx. So thanks for joining me, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the shops, come shop with me and what things I bought this autumn. Look out for how I use and style these props and ingredients. Bye for now bakers!